Let me show you how to make a Pareto chart in Excel in under 10 seconds. Y'all ask about this one all the time. All right, you just need to go to File, New from Template. In the little menu that pops up, go to the search bar and just type Pareto. And it's just gonna open your chart right up and you can fill it in with whatever data you want. How do you interpret one of these? Essentially, everything over here on the left is gonna be big problems with a high frequency. Everything over on the right is gonna be smaller problems with a smaller frequency. That's basically what this is helping you determine. Pareto is the 80-20 rule, essentially. So it's helping you figure out, hey, these are the areas we need to prioritize. This stuff down here does not matter nearly as much. It's a nice way of visualizing that. There are other ways to display this kind of data or explain this concept visually. I actually don't like this chart, but I get requests for it all the time. So I really thought I would just show you the easiest way to make one if you want. Personally, I think if you just did a bar chart with a little visual indicator of where the majority of problems are occurring, that would be just fine and do the job just as effectively. The reason I don't use it is because people don't really intuitively understand what this line is that's plotting the percentages. So you have to do a layer of explanation for most of the people looking at the chart, which frankly is not ideal. Uh, what you're trying to get across is a very simple insight, and you can do that literally with just a visual indicator or highlighting a particular section, in my opinion. You don't have to do it that way. Use the chart if you want to, or if you have an audience that's familiar with and understands the chart, then perfect, use it. That's an ideal circ circumstance for it.